It's a Jeep thing, right? It's a Jeep thing. That's how that comes off. And the pillar guard's got to come off. Yep. Oh, look at that. Not everything lines up perfect the first time. Ready when you guys are. Oh, all right. All right, you guys. Well, I bought a completely smashed up Jeep. So we haven't even bought the Franken Jeep yet. Back end was totaled out. No rear fenders. so hard that the seats don't adjust. Filled with junk. doing all sorts of crazy modifications over the next few videos but I want to hear from you is there anything that you guys would like to see me do to this Jeep you know whatever kind of modifications you'd like to see how to do or how not to do comment down below and maybe I can work that into it we're also today going to be installing body armor and showing you some of the struggles that it takes to actually put this stuff on Today's body armor is by RBP. You've probably seen other body armor by other companies out there. I don't know anything about them, but this RBP stuff is really, honestly, I love this body armor. And we're at the shops of Custom Offsets, so give a big thank you and some show some love to these guys, because without their help, none of these videos would be possible. They actually let me bring my Jeep in and actually did the work with me because they are the ones that know how to do it. So show them some love and go check out their channel. And well, what the hell are we waiting for? Let's get into today's video and install some body armor and have some fun and comment down below and do all sorts of things and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I like to talk. Guys, check this out. Banks is opening up, but look at this thing. These are just insanely well built. That's a heavy duty, that's heavy duty body armor right there. That's gonna make that pop. That is just gorgeous. So that's what you call getting into your work, Banks? Yeah, yeah getting real deep in. <laughs> So we have to take the stock step off. Yep, yep. the step tube's gotta come off. We just gotta take it off because it's bolted through the front fender. Does that go back on? It can. It can if we want it, it to? It can if we want it to. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm on the fence whether I want that step back on or not. You can't get your toe in this on the step. It's just like, why do they waste the money putting, I mean, there's hundreds of thousands of these things installed across America and they're all completely useless. All right, you guys, comment down below if you want my set of Jeep steps, because I don't think I want them. Now this Jeep got a new suspension upgrade along with body armor and other modifications, and I want to let you listen to it squeak, just because when you guys get your upgrades done on your Jeep, it's actually pretty typical to get that squeaking until everything kind of gets broken in and fit together nicely. So we're stripping her down even more, right? Absolutely. Antenna comes off. Antenna comes off, fender flares come off, fenders themselves come off. It's gonna be bare bones. Okay, so the windshield wiper has to come off. The arms do, and then the top. And the pillar guard's gotta come off. Yep. Oh, look at that. See how strong I am? <laughs> so to to put the body right. armor on, the front fenders are going to come all the way off. All the way off. They'll be replaced with the body armor. And then you don't, you just don't put them back on at all. Correct. They're just gone. Yep. Oh, 
the antenna here. So to add the extra, do you, do you end up taking that cowling off then? Take, yeah, the uh, inner fender and the, uh, the outer fender uh, got to come off. Because we kind of thought that had to stay on for a moment. This has to come off, but this that, isn't removable so that that piece is going to hang over the existing rear quarter. So we won't actually see any of that rear quarter. Nope. So if, like, for some reason you have an existing smashed up Jeep, that you bought smashed up, that's a good way of fixing it. And that's how that comes off. Now on a Jeep or a truck, you typically like to put on bigger tires because why the hell not, they look awesome but with bigger tires and rims comes clearance problems. And that's why we're putting this body armor on by RBP because that body armor modification allows us the clearance we need to stick these monster meats on for the front and rear tires. Without that, we would be cutting into the stock fenders and altering them when we can make an upgrade instead. Whoa. Is that a good sign when you say whoa? Whoa, drop down. Not spare. Not sure it is. It's just off a little bit, that's all. It's almost like this Jeep was in an accident. Almost. Almost like somebody rammed the back of it and then stuck a log on for a bumper. That's why we call it the Franken Jeep. Better already. Cool. So do we got to drill some holes, did you say, Brent? Yeah, we got to drill through the pinch welds in the bottom here. So it's actually connected on the bottom. Yep. And then there's a bracket inside. Now, did you have to modify that and drill that hole? Yeah, I had to put an insert in here. Okay, so these are the inserts that we've added in to catch the fender. That's technically called quarter panel, isn't it? Yep. I think we tighten these up. That's how it should fit. Yep. And then, so get those tight and then push this bottom okay. in instead of the other way around. Yeah. The reason that is, guys, is because if you tighten the bottoms up first, you get this gappage right here, and that gappage there means that your head, your tail lamp won't fit quite right. So the only thing that's got to be changed with the other side is loosening them, loosening them up and tightening them in the right order. Yep, yeah, and we might have to bend the brackets a little bit to, uh, to get them to, to form with the body a little bit better. Okay. But, and that's atypical, just like my bumper. Have you guys noticed any challenges to installing this system? Oh yeah, she takes a little bit of tweaking to, yeah, to fit properly, but. Now on a scale of one to 10, from one being the easiest and 10 being the most difficult, installing this body armor averages right around a four or a five. 
Some basic skills, basic tools, and an extra hand every now and then, plus a little bit of creativity with some straps, and a little bit of ingenuity along the way, and this thing will go on. Come back about three quarters of the minute. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Um, this here, can we kind of tip it? Oh, there you go. There you go. A little tweaking here and there. Well, like the same as the back? Same as the back, yeah. Okay, so you did have to tweak that. Yep. And it's all, I mean, this is all plate steel welded together, so it's gonna warp a little bit. So, it's just making everything fit nicely. Just gonna run this in just a little bit. A little, yep, a little, the rest loose. What do you need the strap for? So, you know, in the back where we suck the rears together? Yep. We're gonna do the same thing in the front. We're just gonna suck where it hits the body together so it lines up in the door jam. Okay. Now, do you think this is because the Jeep was hit or just no normal tweaking? Now, this is pretty normal tweaking. This is just a uh, fitment of custom parts. It happens. Nothing's ever an OE replacement. Perfect fit. Tab just needs a little tweaking. Oh, that needs a lot of tweaking. Let me see here. A little more. Should fit, right? We got to actually come bring the tab ahead. Can you get in the, yeah, get that right. About all you're going to get for a head. Okay. Oh. What you're saying is you pity the fool that's got to take them off someday? Yeah. Don't, don't uh, plan on taking these off. <laughs> Try not to. Uh. It's just one of those things, it's built on a jig and all the vehicles are different. Not everything lines up perfect the first time. So with the Jeep grill, those are probably one of the easiest. Yeah. They literally it. just snap. Snaps. And they and just a couple snap of push in. Locks. Yeah. yeah. That's an easy fast. You don't even have to remove the rubber ducky.
why I'm so excited. I just had a lot of fun shooting this video, and I want to give a big thank you to Custom Offsets for helping put this video together. But more importantly, I want to give a big thank you to you guys for sticking around and watching and subscribing and sharing my videos and helping make this channel possible, because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't keep doing these things. So God bless you guys. Thank you guys. Oh, and thanks to RVP for supplying the body armor and fenders so I could make this video for you guys. That's all I got for today, except check out these two videos right here. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know what they are, but I put them in when I'm editing it. God bless and go get them, you guys. <laughs>